In the last episode of Round Sailing, we experienced some rough days at anchor, but we also explored Guadeloupe together with Yuan's parents and sailed to Les Sands. It's early in the morning and we just left uh, Guadeloupe, De Chai or Dehe, and uh, we're on our way to Antigua as everybody else is today. <laughs> um, the weather is going to turn, well, not turn for the worse, but <clears throat> it's going, the wind is going to pick up the uh, day after tomorrow to around uh, 35 knots or gusting to 35 to 36 knots of wind. Uh, from the northeast so we took this opportunity to go north now uh, today the wind is quite light yeah 10 knots of wind and still some old swell because it's been blowing quite hard the last couple of days yeah we hope to be at Antigua sometime this afternoon three o'clock maybe Hopefully two. So, and if we arrive before four o'clock, that would be great because, because then we can uh, do the check-in today. Uh, yeah, and supposedly they are quite strict at Antigua with the check-in procedure. Only the captain is allowed off the boat uh, to go and do the check-in. Uh, so that will be interesting. <laughs> yeah, so it's quite different from the French islands where. You know, it's more or less just a computer, nobody check your papers, it's just, uh, you know, you go and fill out in a form at the computer and then you're ready. We arrived to English Harbour in the south of Antigua and dropped the anchor in Freeman Bay. While Yuan went through with the clearance, he was secretly filmed by some Texan guys. But these guys weren't any creepy stalkers. 
No, Scott, Chris, Chris and Blake from Dallas, Texas had already been in contact with us and knew that we were coming. They invited us to come over to their charter boat, TARDIS, and we had a great time together and spent the evening talking, making cool time lapse and eating Italian food. Both English Harbour and the neighbouring Falmouth Harbour are marinas where a lot of super yachts stay. It's incredible how many big boats there are here and we couldn't stop looking at them. Expensive though, if something goes wrong. So, this race, Talisker Atlantic uh, Challenge, started in La Gomera. And we remember there was a bar at La Gomera where they, yeah, where they had a party before they were setting up. But it was when we were at La Gomera, it was still a couple of months before the start. So, uh, but now they are starting to arrive here in Antigua, from La Gomera to Antigua. Yeah, like you see here, 4,800 kilometers rowing or 3,000 miles. So this place where we are at right now uh, is a UNESCO World Heritage and it's called Nelson Stockyard from the Captain Nelson. For Admiral Horatio Nelson, English Harbour was the perfect place in Antigua to build a dockyard. It was well positioned to monitor the neighboring French island of Guadeloupe, and it was also a natural hurricane hole. The first dockyard was built in 1728, and then followed several buildings that served the seamen and their ships. It was cool. Maybe this one. <laughs> yeah, really nice artwork, woodwork in here. I really appreciate it. It's just not the normal tourist stuff, you know. Okay, it's a bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it because it's, you know, special. They use a local mahogany tree for this, Antigua mahogany. Yeah, as a carpenter I can really appreciate this, it's really nice stuff. So, you know, if we would have more money, I think we would, would have bought the spermaceti whale up there. Thank you. 
want a new boat, Malin? Which yes. one? I think I want uh, hmm, Elebele B. Ah, the J boat left. There oh, was yeah. a J class boat before. That was beautiful. No, it's still here. You see it. It's just behind, it's behind the, the third one. With the it third has one a from the left. British flag. Uh, to the left of the Spanish flag. Okay, I will get that one and just to have like a second bowl, I will take the huge sailing boat over there. I think the J-class boat could be quite hard to sail, only you and me. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> you think? Especially with the Yenneker, would be quite hard. But so what if we take something a little bit more easier, you just press some buttons and no sails. Let's go for a motor yacht. No, but the first one the there. Gray. Let's Not a motor yacht. The first one. The, the Dutch. Mm -hmm. That seems nice. Yeah. Uh, it's another world here. I've never seen so many of these uh, luxurious sailing yachts in one place. There are even more in Falmouth Harbor next to here. Yeah, the motor yacht down there, I'm pretty sure it's Paul, a Paul Allen, who is the owner, one of the co-founders of Microsoft. And uh, yeah, it's for sale, only 54 million euros. That's a bargain. And I should say it's only one of his yachts. I think he has one on the west coast of the US as well, a bigger one. <laughs> Around English Harbour, there are several hiking trails that lead to different historical sites and nice views. Sturdy. A bit. It's from 1805. Yeah, supposedly there's really good diving out here and you can find, still find cannonballs. So, yeah, if, it, if the swell calms down, maybe in a couple of days we'll try to dive or snorkel out here and see if we can find some cannonballs. Early one morning, we woke up by sirens and cheering. It was the South African stand-up paddler, Chris Burdish, that was entering the bay after crossing the Atlantic. It took him 93 days to paddle from Morocco to Antigua, and he's the first person who successfully finished an Atlantic crossing on a stand-up paddleboard. Are you ready? Yeah, of course. We <laughs> Good. <laughs> and this, we just, we just passed the trail, so we had to turn back. This is the trail up to Shirley Heights. It's so 
strange. We don't know what happened to the aloe vera. A lot of if them are dead. some disease or something. Almost all of them looks like this. English Harbour was beautiful, but it was time to continue our sail north. And next up was the not so often visited island, Barbuda. This was a really nice whiskey. And I have a new hat as well, both from Texas. So thank you a lot, Chris, Chris, Blake and Scott for this really nice whiskey. And for you other guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. And I also want to say a big thank you to all of our patrons. You really make this happen, you know, to make all of these videos. And uh, we're so grateful for your support. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.